Hello, so today we're going to take a look at moving a file, um, one of your projects, over to a new project file so you can share that with people online. Um, the big reason for this is being that a lot of people are going to be working from home, um, you'll be able to share this with your instructor, with your friends, so you can collaborate on a project without actually being in the same room, or you can have a project evaluated without being in the same room. So I've gone ahead and I've taken my test project from yesterday and I've named it Grid, um, version one, because I haven't done any edits on this. And that file has saved into the VEX EDR curriculum file, which is not where I want it at all, but that's okay. So I'm gonna close that. You're, you might have a screen that looks something like this. Now, you're gonna need to get into your file browser system. To do that, there's these nine little squares up here at the corner. If you click on the nine little squares, it opens up this file browser and you'll see your, your file here, or you might not see it there. It might be something different. At this stage, we want to click on the home button. And that brings you to this browser area. We want to click on new project and we want to make a new project named, I'm going to delete that in a second but a new project and we want to name it your name 2020. So you can see here, I've got this one, Travis Burroughs 2020. We're naming it like that. Say, cool, I've got that done. Now I need to find my last file. I know that that file is in the Autodesk VEX EDR curriculum, but you might have to go to my recent data and find it from there. So you can find it this way. And then once you've found it, we can just close this down. Right click on the folder, or sorry, on the project and go move. <coughs> and that's gonna bring up this file here. So you've got different all your projects and move to. So we can scroll down, we can find, there's my project, Travis Bros 2020. I click on that, I click move. And now it's going to move that file to Travis Bros 2020. It's still in my recent data. But if I come back here and I find that file again, there's the grid. So I successfully moved this file into the project Travis Bros 2020. Now it's still not shared yet. So I need to take this and I need to make it so other people can see it. To do this, you need to know the, the email that the other person used for their account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to people and you can see there's me. So you would type in the email address of the account that you want. <coughs> so in this case, you would type in my email address, which I probably shouldn't have visible there, but that's okay. So I'm gonna use my temple still one. I don't know if I've got an, an Autodesk account with this, but let's see what happens. So I go invite, it's sending an invitation. And then as soon as I get that email, I can set it and approve it. So any of your friends that you want to share this with and collaborate on, you just add the email in there and then it's going to come up and you can see it didn't take long. And there's my second Autodesk account. So I can view this file with both. If you're in my class, you want to add travis.bros at gmail.com. Um, if you're in someone else's class, you want to add their information there. All right, that's the video for today. Short and sweet.